What's up guys, Dagan07 back here with you with another video, uh, another helpful video. And uh, what spurred this video is um, I own several different platforms to game on, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo Switch, and uh, of course PC. And uh, with that brings uh, a couple difficult things when it comes to wanting to stream from those different platforms. And uh, lately, with uh, the launch of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I purchased it on uh, PS4, and uh, I want to be able to use my Streamlabs OBS uh, to manage all my uh, my notifications, uh, my alerts, my overlay, everything. And uh, I don't own a capture card. I don't own like a Elgato capture card or anything. So um, natively. Microsoft, since Microsoft owns Xbox, natively there's an Xbox application for um, Windows 10. And uh, that got me thinking, is there something like that for PlayStation? And uh, lo and behold, there is. And it's actually completely supported by Sony. Um, they actually have a page dedicated to their site uh, or on their website. And uh, let me just let you uh, take a look and you can see um, how it looks, uh, from the PC perspective. This is, this is the end result. And, uh, essentially I'm sitting at my PC. Um, and this is what's going on on my, uh, on my PlayStation right now. And it works really well. There's very, very, very little to no latency on it, which, uh, is huge with a game like, uh, Call of Duty. So what I wanted to do is show you how I got this, how it works, and what you need. What you need is a, a really stable internet connection. So my PlayStation and my PC are both hardwired to the same network. Um, you need, if, you're, if your computer doesn't support Bluetooth, then you need a USB to micro USB cable because you have to hardwire your, uh, your uh, PlayStation remote. And, um, that's really it. Um, no super long cords, no fancy setup, no nothing. Um, so let me go ahead and show you everything that you need, um, from a software perspective. So as you see, we have this, let me go ahead and, um, kind of exit out of that. I'm going to minimize this screen. And I'm going to put this link, uh, in the description below. Um, this is PlayStation's remote play, uh, PS4 remote play. And as you can see, um, you can play PS4 on many different screens, uh, on Android or on iPad or on PC, PC or Mac. And this is really great for streamers like ourselves because that means we don't have to go buy um, a, a capture card. We don't have to go buy all this stuff to, to set it up. We, we, we don't have cables running everywhere through our, throughout our house. My PlayStation is actually in my living room and my, my, my computer's in my office. So what do you got to do, right? Basically you come to the playstation.com slash en us, us slash explore PS4 remote play. Like I said, I'll have the description. I'll have the, the link in the description below. Excuse me. And just scroll all the way down and under PC or Mac, just click download app. It's going to take you to a download page here and you'll click down, uh, windows PC users. And it even says here exactly everything that you need. Um, your computer, PS4 system, uh, a DualShock 4 wireless controller, USB cable or DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter, um, your PlayStation network account, uh, high speed internet connection, and that's really it. So this is the downloader here. I'm not going to download it. I've already downloaded it. Um, and then you just run the installation file. And then what you have to do on your PlayStation, and I'll actually, um, I'll actually show this. I'll go through the, the, the motions here with you. So what you have to do is you have to enable remote play. So you have to go to your settings and you'll notice I don't have any uh, audio right now. I have it muted because it's really loud. 
So um, just just bear with me on this one. And then from there, you're going to go to remote play connection settings, which is not. It's right there. And then you just have to make sure you uh, check enable remote play. And then this this PlayStation has to be your uh, primary PlayStation 4 system. So again, we'll back out. We'll go to settings. We'll go to account management. And then activate as your primary uh, PS4. And then you'll click activate. Mine is already activated as you can see uh, right here. This PS4 is activated as your primary PS4. And then to, to start the remote play um, while your system is in rest mode, because some people don't like to turn theirs off. I like to turn mine off. So I just, I just make it a point to turn my PlayStation on before I jump on my computer. So that way, no matter what, I can always uh, log in. But, you know, you can go to settings, uh, power save settings, which I believe is down here. Um, set features available in rest mode, stay connected to the internet, enable turning on PS4 from network. And, uh, those are the, those are the two main ones. And I have a keep application suspended, um, mainly cause if I'm playing like uh, Hitman or something like that, I don't want to, I don't want to have to start all over. It's a pain. And, uh, really that is, that is it. And then you go back to your computer, you go back to your computer and uh, mine's down here and you just you just launch this and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this here. Just kind of give you an idea of the the process as it happens. So I'm just going to open remote play. It's always going to check for an update. It's going to ask tell you to use this piece, use this PC to enjoy your PS4 even while you're away from it. Um, I have the PlayStation controller already con uh, already connected. And then you just click start. It's going to search for that PS4. It's going to connect to it. And then it's going to pop it open. And then you can do full screen. And that way you have a seamless experience playing it on um, playing it on playing it on the PC. So just to kind of give you an idea of the latency, um, I'm going to use a very a, a game that would, would generally require you like if you have any kind of lag or any kind of input lag or anything like that, um, it's it's going to show um, on a game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I'm going to go ahead and re-enable the audio. We're just going to run a quick uh, team deathmatch game just to kind of give you the gist to show you that that it's completely and wholeheartedly 100% playable um, on a competitive level. I don't know. It depends on your monitor refresh rate and everything. And of course, with my setup here, we just have to make sure that audio is in the right spot so we can hear. Your setup might be different. I use a uh, voice meter banana to handle most of my audio settings. So, um, so just as a FYI, um, your computer might switch your default audio device to your controller. So just be on the lookout for that. That is a new, uh, a little caveat. And let's go ahead and get this maximized. But as you can see, very little lag. See, I'm able to get out of harm's way. Uh, 
So as you can see, we're not doing, I mean, it's, it's very, very playable. Um, for me, it's, a, it's a little pixelated, but like I said, a hundred percent playable, like no issues at all. So with that, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that's it for this video, guys. Um, my next video, I will be showing you how to use different, uh, different controllers, uh, for this. Sorry, I'm playing this at the same time. I'll be showing you how to use like an Xbox one elite controller to uh because i i come from xbox i think the xbox controller is better than the dualshock 4 you can leave your comments down below uh to argue with me with that and i'll be more than glad more than happy to defend to defend my uh my take on that but uh again that's it for this video guys thanks for hanging out if you liked it uh, if you found it helpful, um, I've got a donation link down in the bottom below. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dagan07. And you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Dagan07. I keep it relatively easy to find. So uh, thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.